Hello? Hello? Is it John? Yeah. Yeah, hi John. Look, um, it's Alan Tucker here again. How are you again? I'm alright, thanks. I'm just tired from my trip. Yeah, what are you doing? I've just come from a long trip and I'm a little bit tired, but carry on. Oh, carry on. Right. That's okay. Look, as I said, I work for a company called Unclaimed Funds. Um, do, do you remember, uh, we, 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 did you work in a finishing works a long time ago? No, no, I've, I've been a mechanic and mortgage broking and bank broking. Yes, so I've been self-employed for my most of my life. Oh, okay. So, can I ask, what's your date of birth? What do you want to know that for? I'm trying to work out how old you are if you're working in 1975. No, I'm 68. I'm thinking you're we're going to have there. You're 68? Yes, okay. I am. I've been around for a yeah. while. So, so, so you probably were working in 1975, weren't you? Pardon? What's this got to do? You were working in 1975. What's that got to do with it? Yeah, but I, I, have, I have a role, a bit like Robin Hood, where I yeah, have found some money that's been confiscated by the government. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm taking the government. I'm going to have a look at my name and find who I am. I'm acting for King William in England, mate. I'm, yes, I'm, I'm taking this country back. I'm taking this country over. Anybody in the road to get a power note in the head, because I've got yeah. the power note. So yes. I'm telling you, I'm in the game right into Westminster right now. I'm, 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 I'm doing this. I'm doing this myself in front of the whole world on 107 yep. Facebook sites and 1,480 YouTube videos. So if you go and check me out before you start talking like that to me. No, I have checked you out and that's why I'm ringing you up. Well, that, that you shouldn't talk about doing. my personal life, mate. This is not about you and me. This is about you and Morris. Yeah. So don't bring, my, don't bring my, my personal things into it. Don't question me either. You're talking to a fucking king, mate. Don't fucking okay. question me. Don't fucking yeah. upset me. So John, You're getting on the wrong side of me already. Can You're... I send you a claim form? So no, you no, no. You take. I'm going to tell you. I'm taking. You, telling you now. Stay out of my business and take it to court. You take yeah. Morris and me to court. I want you to go to court because I'll beat you in the court. Take it to court. Okay? You got that? Yeah, John, no, John, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not talking anymore. You're just you wasting me because you're wasting my time. That's nothing to do with it. This is between me and Morris now, and you take it to court. I'm telling you right now, take it to court, mate. I'll meet you in court. You go, you know what? I won my case in court. Take it to court. I'm telling you now, don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. Pardon? I don't care, mate. I, I don't care. I've got the power note. I'll fucking bankrupt anybody. So stay out of my road because I've got the power note, and everybody knows. Yeah, I don't care about you and your claim, mate. I don't care. Yes. I'm running this fucking thing myself. Yes. Yeah, so I don't need you telling me what to do and about my personal life. Everybody knows online who I am. So okay. it's you the one yeah. that... You yeah, the one. I, I think what you're doing with title power and, and hydrogen generation is really good. I don't care. Cool. That's, that's people to, to make their own judgments about me and what I do. It's for people. I'm there for yes. people. Not for yes. individuals. And, and things like that. So if you want to know anything about what I do, then leave me to do my job. I'm only looking after people's money. Yes. Yeah, for the best interest, for the best of their family. I've just been for their families and talked to the whole lot of them about what's best for their land. I'm really dealing with land because I know land. That's yes. my profession is land and banks right. and money yes. and yes. all that sort of thing. So I don't need to know any more than that because I'm there to to tell him what's good for them. Yes. And he's just, I said to you, I need a contract between you and him, a written contract, because I'm a contract man. Yes. If you haven't yes. got a contract with him between you, well, that's a problem you'll have to solve. And the only way to solve court problems is to take to court. That's why I don't, I don't muck around with anything if you haven't got a solid contract with him about you, you, you making a date before he got the money back. Right? Yeah, that should be in place. Any, any salesman will say, look, when the time comes, we'll make a contract with what I recover. Now, yes. now that's what I should be seeing with him, not, not an invoice, something that suddenly happened. Because he got, suddenly got money. The money was made to him, not you. Yes, okay. So, so I'm just saying, I'm dealing with his money and it's tied up now. Yes. So that's the issue. His money okay. is tied up. 
straight back because it, when, when he worked in the freezing works a long yeah. time ago. Yeah, but I don't have to know any of that because I'm just looking at what shall I do with this money. Yes. And and his money's been it's got his name on from that organization that's given him money that he's been owed and he's say he's done all the work. Yeah. Right? You 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 you'll deal with that company or he'll deal with that company that's right. given him the money. Yes. Yeah, no, he's yeah. showing me what he's done. I don't care about my name because I'll deal with it myself. I'll go bankrupt anybody who's in my road. Uh, yes. That's what I'm. That's the power I've got with the flag. I'll bankrupt anybody who's got on my road as a third party. Now you're sounding like a third party. Oh, okay. You so see? if I wanted to get involved with some investment for my pension, you know, for my family entitled power, how do I go about that? The manager's handling that. I've got people running this business in Scotland, England, America, Canada. And here, it's not yeah. me. I'm the yeah. one that's telling them what to do because I'm too yeah. fucking old. Yes. Yes. And so, how do I get involved with? Uh, well, it's on my website. It's a new website coming out, not the old one. There's a new one coming out because my one's too, too ambiguous. Right. And I've got somebody to make another new website, and you'll have to wait for that and then deal with that because okay. so there's a professional with PhD in economics doing it. And will that be next year? No, that's next week. I'm next not waiting week. for next year. I'm, 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 it should be ready now. I just have to check up, and that's for for well, for it's, people. It's the 29th of December, so will it be this week or next week? No, it should be out now. I haven't been in touch with her. I've been away, and so she should have it ready. But that's the, I've got to look at it yet. So it'll be for 2018. When I get when I have, when I get Cook Street back, that's 2.715800 billion. Then I'll start talking about it. <coughs> that's one land I'm getting back. I'll get it, I'll get it. You see, so I'm saying one land equals all the rest of the fraud land. So I'm getting all the fraud land back. All the whole lot, the 100% of this yeah. country back. That's where that's going. So I'm dealing with a lot of money and I'm, I haven't got much either. Oh, the only thing is, I'm just an ideas man. So, so if, you, if, if, you, if you want to be involved with that, you go, don't talk to me because um, I get upset. But I leave it for people who don't get upset like me. Okay, so um, who should I talk to if I want to talk about time? Well, they're not ready. She's not ready yet. It'll, it'll be out on, on the website. Okay, yes. well, should I talk to Kevin? No, well, Kevin is not ready. He's doing the tidal turbines. He's just waiting for, for me to get the budget going. The right. budget will come out of one fraud. Then they'll come out the power note, the trillion power note on anybody's head. John Keyes, he'd get a trillion on uh, against, uh, against him. Yeah, but John Keyes no longer involved, is he? No, the thing is... It's the Queen's business, or the King's business. Wherever he goes, he's still stuck to the Queen's business. And I'm accounting for the King's business. The return, the no, she's, 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 they're all liable. John Key is liable to Air New Zealand, as, as, a, as, as a direct, one of the directors. He's liable, ANZ Bank, and ANZ Bank, will, I'm, I'm going straight into the land on ANZ Bank, because I've got the power notes already in there. They're already deposited, waiting for Cox Street. And, these other stupid marriages didn't do the job for me. Now I have to do it myself. I'm going to seize the land myself. It's all online. Who, who's going to do the job? I don't hide anything. I don't hide anything in the fact what I do. It's just that people should know what's happening. I'm just yeah. opening up what's happening where all the money's gone. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm accounting for, for, for the British. Of what, they're, they're, they're waiting for this flag to go and save them. Yeah. Because that's, that's how it's supposed to be. But this lot here has been taking all the money with that flag. Yeah. And they've yeah. gone and stolen all, all, all the, the, the jurisdiction out of for themselves. Now I'm holding them account on the 19th. I've got a big yeah. hearing to go and, go and stick it to them and say three chiefs against everyone else. Yes. And, and, and see, no one turns up. I make a ruling and it's going to get stamped. It's going to get the seal. I'm just waiting to go and put it through the, the parcel. See, so, so I've got an ex-British uh, uh, Scotland Yard that's really, he just said to me, go and get a letter from the lawyer. I said, I'll go one further, I'll go and get an apostrophe and, yeah. and, and give it to him. And so he can seize whatever. The people will, the people will decide who's, who's, who's what and, and report it to someone who's going to look after that. So you better apply for a job yourself. To that lady went to uh, 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 Cecile, Cecile Hoots. 
she's a she's a she's going to run the business here. Yeah. And and Jackie uh, Little Gordon in Scotland. I've known her for a long time, but she's in the Scottish. And and I'm holding the papers for the Freemasons yeah. with Moi Monaco and, and and all that lot. So that's been hijacked too. Yeah. The whole the whole of it. But I'm I'm sticking with the, the Freemasons and and their documents. And and, yeah. and and that and my family's involved with the Rogans in, in, in Ireland, in, in Belfast. So that's the DUP party, and that's my ancestors are the Patricks, the Rogans, and the, and the, and the Cosgrove. That's my family over there. Oh, okay. So right. so I got their coat of arms. The Maui statue standing in London. The Maui statue standing in Dunedin. All those Maui. That's my family. Yeah. So yeah. I got that, all that on, and I'm just a mechanic. Right, with a plan that belongs to everybody who wants yeah. who wants it. So I'm I'm throwing it out there because there's no good in my head. Yeah. So I'm just trying to help these marriages come out themselves. Yeah. You see, so so everything I'm 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 trying to give it back to them and they're running off with it. You see, Kenny Toto goes and says to me, Oh, everybody's lost confidence in me. And I said, Well, that's your problem, not mine. I'll be around for a long time. It takes this long just to get this through. And they just think everything happens overnight and they don't know how much work's gone in it. Yeah. So I'm just trying to, I go through all this trouble to go up there and try and tell them something. It goes yeah. one ear and out the other. And they still don't see it. They can't see what their flag is supposed to be doing. Did the king didn't give it, go and play, play up and down the road with it. He gave it because it's a trading flag to, to, to do business with land and everything with, with, with trade. You yeah. see? So I've set up the I set up the shares in 250 countries with a billion shares in each country and this is the parent companies here to take out Nazi Fatua and, and that company is now to wear YRT Limited to take out Nazi Fatua because that's, that's a homemade tribe, it's not real. That was put, that was put together by the, the New South Wales government to put Aotea, Te Arawa, uh, uh, Ngāpui and Waikato together to make a tribe, ISIS tribe, to go and battle everybody else out of the road for them. Yeah. And the yeah. Ma word Maori is patented to that New South Wales government and New Zealand company. They, they hijacked the Manukau company that was in Scotland. That's the one I'm going after because I've known they were wrong. The Manukau company belonged to Tira Waikato Wharehe in Manukau in 1820. He signed the contract to sell this land, this whole country and, and the Pacific Islands to King George IV. Yes. And, and so that's, that contract, that's the one I'm doing, that contract uh, uh, was better than nothing because the British were going to take it anyway. And so that Monica and Hongi Hika went there for the muskets. He came back and started shooting everybody up because that's all he knows and they're still doing that now. They yes. can't change their mentality. And I'm trying to tell them, no, here's the contract here, look, just follow this and I'll give them a book and, they, and then they bugger off with the book and they don't know what to do with it. And yeah. tell them what to do, so I'll stick it online so no one can hide it. Yeah. I'll stick it out there so everybody can claim the damn thing. Yeah. And, yeah. and if, they, if they know how to use it, then they'll end up with a king. They'll say, oh, who did you get the authority from? Oh, from the queen. So who did she get it from? Oh, the other queen. So who did she get it from? Oh, King William. So who did he get it from? Oh, King George. So who did he get it from? King William III. He created the Bank of England, Pound Note, and the St. Patrick's Municipality, the Eight Point Star. That's all the things I've got in my head. That's how put together. Yeah. See, so it all ends up with somebody's authority. Yeah. And that's why I, a, I won my case. I won my case. Yeah, so it belongs to everybody. So you better hang around to see all dudes and go and jump in there and, and make, 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 make a lot out of that. Yeah. But in the meantime, I'm just saying to Morris, put your money here. He's got 10 land blocks back by himself. And, and I can see his deeds. That's all I do, deeds. And anybody else that, that don't do deeds won't get near what I'm doing. Right. Straight to Britain, straight over the top of this lot. That's why they can't do anything about it. Yeah. And um, I've got no money, you see. I'm yeah. doing it on my gold card. But I, it won't be like that forever. I'm, I'm going I'm to get somewhere out of it as well. So by the sounds of it, you'll get something out of it too. That's why I'm saying put your energies in, get behind this and plug in somewhere with, with, with the management. And that's Cecile. She's she's uh, in in Karaka, uh, but uh, uh, she's been through a lot of things in Papua New Guinea and what's happening over there on on the human side, on on the on the uh, uh, family side to, to put the families together. So she's got priority on the families come first. That's where the budget's going. So she'll 
she'll, she'll work on that part. So somebody's got to take a portfolio and work on that part. I haven't got everybody together yet. Because once I get Cook Street, we're going to set up over there. That building's going to go. That's about $3 billion. That's going to go straight up. It's just my, 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 my sort of feel is real estate and, and, and buildings. As part of what I've been through before. But I'm just saying. I'm just acting for that man's sake. For what, what, what he can put his money into. And, and tie it up in his land. He's, I've got, I'm, I'm putting 2,000 bees on his farm straight off because I've just looked at all his titles. And, 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 and the best BIs. And I'm just only dealing with the best technology. And, uh, so what's the, what's the title saying? How many of those you've made so far? No, I haven't made any, but PricewaterhouseCoopers has got the plan. I haven't paid anybody. They're, oh. they're, they're taking it off another plan in Scotland and, and yeah. other turbines in Australia that, that are proven. And I have to pay them for the for the use of the of their patent to so to. So where do you stand to install them? Have you got like sites lined up? Yeah, I have. And in, in, in down the east coast on my land, I've ran for bang, fifty yeah. miles out, sixty miles out, and that that puts out fifteen hundred megawatts in in a in, in a two hundred meter long uh, platform bridge. Yeah. And so what's the tidal flow out there? What's it like? How many meters? Oh, that's uh, where that's going. That's about eighty meters. At the lowest point, it's, it's about 60, and I'm just going off the ridge down to 100, and and it's whole hydraulic over electricity over splitting the water, the whole lot of electricity and split the split the power yeah, hydraulically. Better sites around the world rather than like um, offshore No, it's the way the demand is. I'm going straight into the, the coal countries in, in Europe. I'm going to Scotland. Uh, yeah. Up and I've got all those. I've been on this for a long time with the type of turbine. Even in the Kuiper, I gave that one away. Quest Energy went in there and, and, and they were going to put 200 of the things, so I know all that, that's one. I got mixed up with Brew Energy Canada and I did all their things here for them, uh, the pl planning, uh, and, and, uh, but when it comes to paying things, I never had the money. Alright? Oh, that's this guy. Sorry, I forgot the camera was on. I lost my, my little GoPro. It goes in here. I can't find it. I've left it somewhere. I hope someone finds it and sees me in it and gives it back. Because it was a prison. Anyway, this guy here is... Um, I'm sorting him out. Seems a good guy, but... <clears throat> I, I, I hope he's got the message on this video. And I won't say names. Um, about who I just spoke to, but uh, only to say that I'm um, looking for people who, who, who's got enough brain in their head to run this business um, in, in here in New Zealand. I won't just pick any Tom, Dick and Harry. They'll have to know what they're doing, and they'll be very honest um, in doing this sort of business. Um, I find it very difficult to find people I can trust. Out of all the people, I've got Morris uh, Baker, uh, and his wife, uh, I can rely on and trust. And his family, I've had a meeting with his family up north and just come back and the family brought me back. Uh, so, uh, you know, they're happy with me. Um, and that's just one family, uh, let alone anybody else that wants to. But I'm only going to do one family as a model uh, on these uh, projects and on land development. Um, that's my uh, profession is land um, um, conveyancing, land um, mortgages uh, as a broker and uh, bank broker and also in real estate and um, other engineering matters. So I've put up a budget of things that are um, against the land and what should go on it. And uh, so I've drawn up a model for, for the family, one block out of ten, that they've got back. Morris has uh, been vigilant on how he does um, uh, his business um, and he's uh, very astute at business um, um, dealing uh, in the past. So I'm going on experience as being self-employed people who know how to handle um, 
uh, commerce uh, in in such a way. But this one thing he he he's, he didn't quite get was how to deal with land titles, especially deed titles. And so now he's getting a better handle on his own land, and it'll duplicate from there. We're we're going to hold a. Uh, uh, oops, sorry, pardon me. Um, um, meeting on, on his land and set up a um, department up there to Auckland, our main office in Auckland, when I seize Cook Street. I'm going to get it. Um, eventually I'll get it. Uh, but um, that's a long time coming. The people who have defrauded the public of New Zealand are going to have to pay. And that goes for against the Paramount Chiefs. Now, the difference between Paramount Chiefs and Chiefs that are there now in the Iwi Maori or any other organisation are different chiefs. They're not king's chiefs. They are queen's chiefs or some other sort of chief that uh, cannot understand uh, any of these documents here as writ warrants and also as magistrate. They cannot understand, they cannot take this role as magistrate without a history of events, of things to match up to make sure they can do what it says. Uh, a long time to try and learn all of that, and banking, and real estate, and land uh, use, and also laws of Britain and here in New Zealand. I'm using British law to um, uh, authenticate. These documents will be authenticated. I'm just going to do that now after going north to check with the family and to apply according to Kuri's titles with uh, Moira Hoffman and her whakapapa here with this picture of England. Oh, oh, sorry. I've, I've done this before and showed you um, England, uh, London here and also um, Hokianga here. That's all that matters to me. And Kupe, Rahiri and Pohi, Pohi Chiefs here. And <coughs> Whakapapa to Moira Hoffman and her family and uh, to make everybody beneficiaries of this law. Okay? The beneficiaries have been turned into pirates. We're turning the pirates into something else. The, the, the beneficiaries into out of pirates and the pirates put back on John Key and his elite people. So I've just had a talk, you, you would have heard me talking to him uh, in a little bit upset way um, that what he's doing um, is um, quite something. I've, I've been in contracts for a long time with real estate and other contracts as well. Uh, and I'm, I'm talking about contracts between two people that when you do something, you'll write it first before you get paid out of any claims or whatever, you'll always make an agreement before, not after the fact of when money is given or, or, or uh, claimed and given over uh, for this man Mor Morris Baker's working life. It was his money, the way I read the letter. It's his money. And <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned, he did all the work. Someone helps to do, help them with it. It, it was him. It, it was either a consultant or some salesman that goes and does the whole thing with that company on Morris's behalf. Morris did all the paperwork himself. He's very good at doing paperwork, and I've checked all his work. I've I've looked at his site of it and attested to all his work of land titles, except the fact that he didn't know how to stitch it together. And that's what was missing, the banking bits, the real estate bits, and the interpretation of law with conveyancing and land titles. What the hell do you do with it? How do you do it? And he didn't want to borrow money from the bank. bank. So I said, no, there's another way. You see? So <clears throat> I'm giving him an opportunity to manage his land for his father and family so that the generations can do something with land. That's just bits of land that every other family has opportunities as well. And it's been flouted by this government in Wellington, have flouted the land 
and put anybody on it instead of the original owners. Okay? And in this case, um, uh, when it comes to commercial titles, it doesn't matter what name's on it, as long as the papers stack up to what it says in a contract. It's always a contract on those papers. A contract has been between Horitikuri and the British, right, on his deeds. The deeds through Britain and King William IV. Okay, that's that one. The other one with Tera Waikato is with King George IV, 1820 to 1830. And Horitikuri is 1830 to 1882. You see, in that period of time of Cromwell, the commerce started in this country in 1823, in Hokianga, in this book. All this started legally in 1823, after Te Rawaikato Wharehere sold this country, New Zealand, to King George IV. That's when the contract started, in 1823. That's when they started applying this foreign policy on forests from Britain to pick these logs up in the gum and take it straight back to England from 1823 on that Tira Waikato Whare Hire title in Cambridge in um, uh, Waikato area. Now there's two different Waikatos or three different Waikatos. Two up north and a real one. Two, one in Kaipara, uh, Waikato there and one, that's a female one, Tira Waikato, is a female in the Ngāti Whātua. Whakapapa, right? That's, that's all screwed up. <coughs> and the other one is this other uh, Whakapapa in uh, North uh, Ngāti Kuri, up, up in that area. Uh, that chief, that chief is Ohaya Parahi, Waikato, male, a male Waikato, a female Waikato in Ngāti Whātua, Te Uri Ahau, Ngāti Rahiri, Ngāti Kaua, uh, Te Rorua, Te Tāu, Te Uri Ahau, and a few more tribes. All those iwi Māoris comes under this Ngāti Whātua or Kaipa in Ngāti Whātua or Oraki, that's a second-hand title. It's not real, people. I'm telling you, right over there. Don't believe everything we see and read here. Now, that one's fraud. Defrauded the name Te Rā Waikato Whare Here Here Manaka. The real chief is in Mangatauteri, Marae, in Cambridge. Te Rā Waikato Whare Here Here Manaka went to England from his Cambridge area to Cambridge, England. That's where Cambridge came from, England, on his land. And Moira here, in this book, the Russell families, Lord Russell, right? They got the land in Tikitere on Hongi's track in Rotorua, belongs to Te Rā Waikato. That's his swimming pool in his area, right around Topo and up around Rotorua to Okorari, Putaru, all that area is Tera Waikato, a Waikato chief with a Waikato pound note, right? King Tafio of Waikato, right? the pound note comes under that name Waikato. It's not Napoli, it's down Moriori, down Kahu, Punga Punga, Hapu, in Manga Totally, Parsai, that got invaded by these pirates in, down in, in uh, Rokawa and Mania Portal. Those pirates, Alfred Mitchell and his pirates down there, came across and invaded to the Waikato, Wharehere, Manikas. What are they? And lands and stolen them. 
And then the tiny weeds came along, Alfred Mitchell thought again, came along and stole it off them and built, killed them, killed each other, and took that mountain. And Kuriki, King Kuriki, took all of those Moriori chiefs' lands. That's what I'm betting for. It's, this court hearing on the 19th of January 2018 is Te Rawaikato Manakao, Refere from Manakao, and Hori Te Kuri versus everyone else. Right? If you haven't got a title to match that, and this Whakapapa, all the Whakapapas in here, you're in trouble with the British. Because you got on this land through the British. Kings. All the Hokianga. All the fellows here and the Whakapapas. Right through to check everybody's Whakapapa. I'll check your Whakapapas against all these Whakapapas. But you can't get away with it. You, you, the Whakapapas are all up the hill. It's been manufactured by this crooked using company that went and hijacked or hived on the Manukau company. Just this Manukau company, Terawakapa Wharehere and Manukau company. Right? They hired off a third party. They've got to go a third party pound no bill on me. After that day, if they don't turn up with a title to whose Waikato are they using. I want anybody on this video, I'm citing you up north using the name Waiha to come to that meeting because I'm going to stick this right on your head with Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau. That Waikato name belongs to Waikato down there at Mangatautui. Now, now don't try and stick yourselves to it. This is not going to wear the British have got this. They know who's who, who's falling who. And the other ones in Te Tau, up in the Kaipras, you'll have to come to that hui. It's a hearing. It's a native magistrate called hearing that goes back into Aurora, Ten Acre Block in Kaipara, in Ellenville. I've been there and I'm still here today acting for those Monaco titles with Rogers, married my family, and Monaco. Now Monaco is gone. Or uh, well, Monaco is gone. I mean, Zeke Sekera. It's up to me to say anything about those Manukau's and the other Manukau's, the real Manukau's down the line in Mangatonta. I know who's there. I just told them, say nothing, leave it to me. I'll pull you in when I get this land sorted and all this lot of juggernauts in Kaipa and in Oraki, not far from Oraki. They're the ISIS, as like in America, ISIS of New Zealand. Four tribes, Tiaroa, Altair, Waikara, and Ngāpui. This Iwi Māori Crown Corporation, nothing to do with here. They picked out those people who are in all those whakapapas and the treaty claims. They are in, third party, stuck with Ngāti Whātua Auraki in Auckland here, versus these three chiefs. Now I just said, you've got a problem with third party against our first and second party with these three chiefs and their successors, which is only Lobo, uh, Morris Baker, he's the only one that turned up at this Horitikuri's hearing in a native magistrate court. Right? You didn't turn up. So, <coughs> ruled you out. That's getting cited and sealed. You went to the of the, the, the Crown Corporations, who we to settle for less than 1%. That's where you people went and went to your own meetings. <coughs> Waita, you went to your own meetings, you had your own meetings to try and try something. I'm afraid you can't get past this. This is British. Guns are pointing at you. And the Freemasons, who owns the documents you've got. So all the people who've got documents in this world, the Freemasons owns all the legal documents in Scotland, Edinburgh. And I'm scribbling all over them. And nothing said. Hmm? Because it looks like 
this is the way it go back into Ireland, Belfast, Eight Point Star, Eight Point Star St. Patrick, yeah. Municipalities to collect the rent of your people, third parties. You're getting the power note on your head after the 19th of January 2018 if you can't refute this title and this whakapapa. You're not going to have any mucking around because these will be sealed by the time that hui comes around. Okay? They'll be sealed. And anything you've got that's not sealed is not going to happen. It's not going to work in this magistrate court, Te Waka, Native Magistrate Court in Epsom. There's eight Native Magistrate Courts altogether. One in Te Hapua, Te Higua Te Iga Marae, Native Magistrate Court, that's one. <coughs> then you've got um, Waitangi Marae, Native Magistrate Court, I put that one together as well. Titi Marae, Native Magistrate Court, that one. And then you've got Te Waka Marae, that's one. And then you've got um, you've got um, Waimana, Native Magistrate Court. And you've got uh, the Magistrate Court in Rangitukia. Koi Kairaka, Lukitere, Marae, Native Magistrate Court, Rangitukia. <coughs> and then you've got uh, um, Te Horo, Marae, Native Magistrate Court, at Port Haone, east on the coast of Rotori. And then you've got, um, uh, you've got uh, Taheke, Marae, Native Magistrate Court. I don't know how many that is. So you've got all of those, there might be one more <coughs> somewhere. Um, so that one will come to me, but there you go. Those are ready to go as straight to Britain and passed. The Acts passed on the 1830, 1830 to 1837 King William IV Acts. We applied those, we can apply the 1830 to 18. 1820 to 1830, Acts of Parliament of King George IV, and also King William III, 1600, and <coughs> 40 to um, as far out as it goes, 1766 or something like that. Okay, so that's our jurisdiction in these native courts with this flag here. This flag here. I took it up with me. Okay, and so. <coughs> these documents being sealed straight to Britain and through the apostoly, that's the Church of Canterbury, to be real. We're passing the laws after they come back in to Wakamaroi as applying straight to you third parties as debtors with a power note that'll be legal from that day on these power notes. Okay, these pound notes that we have sitting in the bank, the NG bank. Now, the whakapapa that Mohi and I put together, this one, I mean, you can't read it, but it's on my Facebook site, and with Mohi being Freemason, that is sets aside the contract outside of the Monaco family, with NG etc., straight into the Freemasons in Scotland, in Edinburgh, their headquarters there, in that part of the contract of these documents that belong to them, I've written all over. And I'm applying that basis of settlement with them on the use of their legal documents to make our documents legal. So I don't have to reinvent something that's already invented. The only thing was the update um, and reassertion of our authority to use these documents against any third party and build them for being pirates against this flag. It's given to us by the King to deal with pirates, third parties. OK, 
can third parties acting fraudulently or breaking the laws that we say inside this book. The King William IV Acts are in here and we apply all those acts against anybody and there's nothing they can do about it. The Acts of King William IV is in here and all the way through I've cited just the ones that we are using directly on the Cook Street title and all the lands we are seizing straight back straight away and the other acts all apply thereafter. Okay, so the acts of King William IV start out here is from 1830 here sealed. They're authenticated by our chiefs and those who have supported me but not really going with us, they've left us to carry on with what we're doing. And these are the acts of 1837 that applied, that I'm applying, I've pulled them out of all the acts of 1984 pages and I've pulled out just enough pages. One, two, three, four, five, oh, I don't know. I think, anyway, I've pulled them out to use directly. So one of them is hanging in chains. I can hang anybody with those laws that get in the way. They'll build them, whatever. It's not for them to question what I say. Okay, so <clears throat> really, um, that's how it is playing out at the moment. Uh, I've had a good talk with Morris Baker and his family, just come back just now, and um, gone through the formalities to prepare themselves for 2018 to administer those blocks themselves and to get busy and I will write the power note out against the debtors and the first certificates are one trillion pounds on this you see this has come back from the police station with my name and capitals that's worth a hundred million I'm recovering that but I'm charging one trillion pounds for every birth certificate in this world. So the more people that suddenly realise that I'm doing that, you're going to start jumping in behind the king and this flag. You're going to start claiming your trillion of consolidated funds. That means we're spreading it right through 250 countries of the trillion credit. No one can go and get it. You can't get it. Only the king's surrogate and I'm acting King, sorry, King William IV, King Ernest Augustus V, and his brother King William IV, and his brother King George IV, the three brothers, and the King George III, the father of those three brothers, and King William III, the Dutchman, in the Netherlands, <coughs> running World Bank, uh, World Court, sorry, World Court, and um, that jurisdiction I use, he created this eight point star on his flag in the four corners of the earth. The eight point star of St. Patrick, he created that. The municipalities to collect rent and rates and uh, land leases and the administration of lands conquered as that eight point star in the four corners of the earth on that flag. Okay, you got, you got that? That's my job as executive of that native side. On the native side, of the British Navy. So the British military is being bought out by the EU Parliament where the pirate queen has gone and she's trying to shut down Westminster. We're going in with this flag to clean her out and to seize all her assets against all these here as judgment debtors in these native courts against the judgment creditors. Okay. The company in England is my Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company and the company in New Zealand is creditor there. Um, and the company here is Na Atua Ewa Aotea Limited, one of a trillion shares. 250 countries, there is 1 billion shares in each of 250 countries at £25 a share flat. That's it. <coughs> the preferential shares will come out in 25 pound share lots of 1 million. 
Okay, so that's that's how it works. We've got plenty enough shares. When they run out, we'll just throw another bean in. Okay, and shares grow. That's why it's a flat twenty-five pounds a share. Anyone can buy them, and that goes with that is a mobile phone as creditor. Okay, so just to let you know, this flag is now legal. Right, we are just authenticating this flag. The user on pirates who have used this flag against us and made us pirates, now we're making them pirates with this flag. It belongs to us. It belongs to us. The paramount chiefs, not the mischiefs, the paramount chiefs. All those people who are flying this flag is not applying this principle because they can't. They are not interested in this flag, was given by the king for this and its instructions. The acts of King William IV, not to wave around as a protest flag. It is not a protest flag. Protest flag. It's a flag to go after all the debtors on the side. All you people making contracts with the Queen, your third-party contract with the Queen, you're going to get the bill. Right? You either stay there or jump on this side. It costs you twenty-five pound. That's it. You wouldn't have to buy any more shares because there's more going out in credit than in debt. Okay. We're going to get rid of this one of fictitious thieves, pirates, bad ones. Okay, so that's the story of um, what we are at at the moment. Why I went up north just this week gone by, and now I'll be going into finishing off this and getting this sorted out to authenticate. I'm not going to authenticate all the pages, but I've got to send the whole thing in and just pull out the pages I want to authenticate because it costs a lot of money to do the whole thing. Okay, but I'm able to do that now. Since the family, Morris Baker has been financial behind me and he's the only man that's ever, ever supported me financially. Out of all the Maoris, he's the only one that has really 100% supported me because he understands a lot about time on lands. Having got 10 blocks back from the Marine Air Corps, can't touch it because he just knows how to do it. Now that I'm with him, we know how to do it. Okay, so that ties all that up. And if you want to challenge us, you better come to Te Unga Wakamarae, Native Magistrate Court, at 1 Clyde Street, in the corner of 1 Clyde Street and Manukau Road, Epsom. It's up the road from Broadway on Great South Road corner and going towards the airport, it's up at the lights just there to Wakamarae on the corner. Come there, listen, but don't come and muck around and create havoc because you'll be thrown out of the hearing. It's there to challenge Ori Takuri of Taheke Murai, Native Magistrate Court and his Hokianga titles in here and Referee for Manukau of Manukau Marae at Waiuku, that's his Marae, his land and Pupunga Marae at Cornwallis straight to Edinburgh from there where Cornwallis put the titles together the Cornwallis, the, the William Paul Wallace, Simon, put the titles together with the that was a lieutenant of the 32nd or 30, 32nd Regiment of the Royal British Navy, put the title transfer together into King George with Tera Waikato Whare Here Here in 1823. Okay? So that's that title. That chief of Mangatotari Marae, Mangatotari Pass site in Cambridge, to Cambridge, England, where he went to learn English. So that's his land. There's nobody else's. We're seizing a pack under this British title of those who are on it as tenants of this Maui Crown Federal State Government, dual government, UK, Aotea New Zealand, and Pacific Islands. Okay, so you're up against those three chiefs and you Evie Maoris or anyone else in this country. If you don't come or have any title, you never did have one. <coughs> you never
neoliberalism. You have to tell us where you came from, whose authority you got, whose seal are you using now? There's no seal from the Queen. There's no seal from Westminster in this government of Wellington. There's no seal in the High Court, in the Supreme Court, or any court for that matter. <coughs> so, you'll have to come there with that authority. You have to come with your Queen's authority or something to say where you got your authority from. No use bringing this flag because we're using this flag against anybody who is not using it for the King's business. You can not start a native court off because you haven't got all the information to go with it. And this backup, if you can't match this British, Whakapapa, Te Kupe, <coughs> Pui and Rahi against this British Whakapapa with the right Whakapapa in it against your Ngāti Whātua, Ōrāke, Iwi Māori, Whakapapa, then you're in trouble. You'll be getting a pound note in your head after the 19th. Credit. Yes, one trillion pounds against you and your crown government in Wellington and the Queen and everybody and that's on this side has to pay a trillion pounds back on every birth certificate on this side with this book. <clears throat> and it's not going to be just walk in. No, we're not going to give it away to anybody who didn't support the first place. You have to follow your own path and try and go through the United Nations. We don't have to go to the United Nations. We go straight to Westminster. We're the sources right here. Okay, so that's as much as I want to say if the, before the video runs out. I'm a bit sad my, my GoPro is missing. I've got a camera. I can't find it anywhere. I've left it behind. And I'm just trying to think where I left it, up, up, up the line where I, I may have made some videos with it. I'm trying to think what, I'm, what I made a video of with it. <coughs> left it somewhere and walked off and left it on a post or something. Still going. That's what I normally do. I stick it on something and start talking and then wait and walk off. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that someone will pick it up and see me in it and, and realise who it is. Uh, so, with that, if it cuts off now, then we've got most of what I wanted to say on this video before 2018 and the new look of what this politics in this country will look like. Now, he asked me, this guy um, asked me, what about uh, this Sinead O'Dearin? I said, well, she's liable. They're all liable. A whole lot of them. And there's nothing they can do about it because I've named them all. Named, everybody our names got a trillion pounds on their head, apart from those who are on Cook Street, they get more on their head, was stopping me. And every day that went past, I told them I'll charge them a trillion pounds a day. They haven't got that much, but certainly the elite people that they've mixed up have will go after all that money. That's missing, and it'll still fall short of 970 million trillion trillion pounds. That, that's in here. Okay? It'll still fall short of that no matter how far we go. And already this man says the tidal turbines was a good project. Yes, it is. It took such a long time to put together and make sure it's stacked up. Okay, so I'm just trying to find that. That's John Key's pretty bound on his head there. With, this is going straight on his head in the, the NZ Bank and he's got more on his head than the trillion. That's just the land issue. That the, birth certificate. That's just the birth certificate. That's not his crimes yet. That's just his birth certificate. What he's done has done here to me. Right? I'm using this as exhibit A. Exhibit A. That they used this exhibit A against me as being a criminal. Now I'm using this against Jonky as criminal. And his birth certificate of seats. A bond on his head. There's a contract on your head, Jonky, for your birth certificate. You're doing this to me, now I'll do it to you here with this trillion pound note on your head and every other side that's been involved and everybody on this side. There's 4.7 million people in New Zealand. You've all got one trillion pounds on your head riding right this moment on just the birth certificate. Right? That's just the birth certificate. That's not the land yet. That's not the Ford yet either. That's not the title turbines either. You see? And that's not the sale of the pound note either. Nor is it the shares yet. 
You see? So it's starting to stack up to make this pound note worth a lot against all the pirates that this flag is meant to be. We can go legally after them. See this black strip here? That's Satan and the devil that's operating their business with our eight point star John Keith wearing over here. It's not his flag. Make your own mind up who that flag belongs to and who the eight point star belongs to. A king's flag, not a fraudulent man like John Keith here. That's playing banks, war bank wars with our title. Those are the two chiefs, the Alan Pound note, the Trillion Pound note with Hongi Hika and Tera Waikato, Wharahiri Hika Manaka. But Tera Waikato is the only one that has the contract with King George, okay? Not Hongi Hika. He has no contract. He has no contract. He wasn't interested, the same as Bundy. Um, White Eye has no interest in the pound note. Now this donkey here with Bill English, see, this is only this year, with donkey wearing the eight point star there, okay, and me wearing the eight point star with the flag of the eight point star in the four corners of this earth planet, right, four corners, four of them, four corners of the earth, North, East, South, West, Nahu, Far, with this, not this. Now, he's fraudulent and purporting or stealing the identity of our king and of us and our chiefs. That's what John Key is doing for their pirates, and they're going to get the bill for 970 million trillion trillion pound notes straight on the head on the 19th of. January 2018, that pound note is going straight on their heads. I'm trying to hear it again. This 970 million trillion trillion pound note here, right here, it's Billy and Cub. That's with uh, King Ernest Augustus V, he's 65 or 64. And this pound note's worth 970 million trillion trillion pound notes going on all in third party on the side with Pope. The Queen, Trump, and the United States, the UN, the EU Parliament, the uh, Westminster Parliament at the moment, are money going on Brexit. This is Brexit, the new government in Britain, Brexit. The present Westminster government will be booted out with this and this flag. Because the Queen has abandoned this flag and gone into the EU Parliament and raked all the money out of the ancient treasury. His Majesty's Treasury. Okay, so I'm going there to open the books and audit it with this in the frame. And this license sealed and authenticated a passport. Got it? So that's how it works. And um, uh, unfortunately for you, you people on this side playing around with Tesori Fenua, uh, Native Land Lake, and that's fraud. That's, that's fraud being defaulted in Australia. Canberra, uh, where the Commonwealth Government set up, you've defrauded the um, uh, 1993 Native Land Act. I know, I know what I'm talking about. You've got to get this on your head. All of you in Australia, those originates in Australia, get ready. And all the other people, back here, anybody, Chinese or anywhere living in Australia, you've got to start jumping on their side. Yeah. And forget about those thugs, they really using the same point that they're going to get this on their head. This 970 million trillion trillion pound on the 19th again. From that Tilda Wakamurai, Magistrate Court in Ipsen. Okay? Just to let you know that this time I will take 77 Cook Street off you to James Pierce Brown and Simon Brown Brown Street with this seal, warrant, the possibility, and Refa Refa Manitano's title that you never put onto a lens title. You've hidden the Manitano real owners away. The commercial land owners is right in this receipt here. Now these are online. The Refa Refa Manitano in capitals. I'm going to show you. 
And if I therefore make a in capitals right there, can you see that? 